Here is a question a lot of you guys will get wrong. What is the square root of negative 9 times the square root of negative 4? I'll give you 5 seconds to do this. Well, if you thought that the answer was 6, you're wrong! And I'll tell you why. Now, what a lot of people do for this question is they say, well, if you're multiplying the square roots, can't you just multiply what's inside the square roots? And that is true to a certain extent, but let's try it with this. Negative 9 times negative 4 is negative... Positive 36. So, let's write that down. Then we all know what the positive square root of 36 is. It is just 6, right? And that's what a lot of you said, but this is incorrect. So let's break this problem down a little bit. Now, what is the square root of negative 9? Well, we could rewrite it as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 9. Let's rewrite it like that. Now, what is the square root of negative 4? Well, we could just do the same thing that we did right here. The square root of negative 4 is just the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4. So let's write it like that. Great, so now we simplified this a little bit because now we could take the square roots of these numbers since they're not negative. So what is the square root of 9? Well, the square root of 9 is just 3. And what is the square root of 4? Well, the square root of 4 is just 2, so let's write it that, that. So now we have this equation. Now, but we still have these square roots, the square root of negative 1. And if you've taken an algebra class, you'll know that the square root of negative 1 is just i, the imaginary unit, because you can't take the square root of a negative number and get a real answer. So we just call this i. So let's rewrite it like that. Now we have 3i times 2i. So now we could break this down even further. So where we can multiply these two i's to get i squared and these two to get 6. So we have 6i squared. Now what is i squared? Well, i squared is just negative 1. So let's write it like that. And what is 6 times negative 1? Well, it's just negative 6. So the square root of negative 9 times the square root of negative 4 is negative 6. God bless.